Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Rick Shaves. So before I forget, don't you forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification for all future videos. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the shave. So, kind of got that English shave thing going on here. I'm going to be using Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. And this is a classic kind of commercialized uh, shaving cream <sighs> has a great smell to it. It's uh, just kind of this classic old world sandalwood kind of, you know, scent to it. It smells really good. Uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite creams to use. Uh, it was one of the first ones I actually bought, like shave creams I actually bought. And I was like, wow, like this, this is really nice. You know, even though it's commercialized, it's not really an artisan company that makes it. It's, it's just a really nice kind of top of the line uh, shaving cream that you can buy. The razor is going to be my Edwin Jagger DE89. Look at this beautiful chrome plated razor here. I have a uh, another Wilkinson sword. Wilkinson sword uh, razor or DE blade in there. So we'll see how that goes, guys. Um, again, this razor, pretty mild shaving razor. Uh, very nice. Um, now, I would say one thing I already know about this razor is when my hands get wet or a little soapy, that that will slide in your hands. So Edwin Jagger actually makes another one and it has a bunch of vertical lines uh, that go up and down on the handle and uh, I can't remember what it was. I know it's like a DE89L or something like that. But anyways, this is the one I have. So that's a very elegant looking razor. It's gonna do a good job. I know it is, I've used it before in the past. The brush I have here soaking in my little tub of water. I'm just gonna wring it out a, a little bit. It's the uh, Volfix orig Old Original, made in England. So it's made in England. It's a pure badger brush. And it's a very short knot, as you can see. Not a very big brush. Uh, maybe good for travel or something like that. Pretty stiff knot on there. Uh, again, I don't use badger brushes all that often. We'll see how this one goes. Has a lot of water in there. So, uh, you know. We'll see how it lathers up on, I'm gonna do a face lather today, see how it works on uh, the shave cream. And then the aftershave, I didn't really have anything, I guess, so really made in England. So I got some English leather here. I think it's gonna pair really nicely with the uh, with the sandalwood. So it's it's got English in the word, guys. So, <laughs> you know, in the title of the product. So close enough, right? All right, guys. That's the shave, enough talking, let's get to shaving. All right, I'll take the lid off of this thing. And I, mean, I like, I mean, these come in like really solid tubs and stuff like that, and you get quite a bit. And I've had this for some years now, so let's see here. I'm just gonna lather it right from the puck or from the bowl. Try and get enough in there. All right. Before we do that, I skipped a step, right? Let me wet my face. Already did my pre-shave routine. Taking a shower. Well, that I got about, maybe about three days worth of growth here. That should be good. Okay. I got it. probably more than enough here to build a lather. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love the sandalwood scent. I have a few others. You see, you saw me use the, uh, the peppermint one before. That's a nice one too. Uh, nice cooling 
feeling, great peppermint scent. This one obviously is a little bit more traditional sandalwood kind. It's probably one of their more well-known ones. I know they have quite a few. They've come out with quite a few of them. And uh, this one definitely is the one I always think of when I think of Taylor of Old Bond Street. Now this brush here, this Volfix, the uh, Badger, Pure Badger, look, I mean, it built a really nice lather. Really, really nice. Tons of lather still in that brush there, so. Okay, got that. Just emptying my cup here. I like to pre-soak pre my animal hair brushes. Uh, and some guys don't do it. And I guess necessarily you don't have to, but you know, I like getting those bristles, you know, nice and soft. Get that kind of cleared up there. I'm gonna shave most of those eyebrow or sideburns off. Eyebrows, yeah, shave my eyebrows off. <laughs> no, no, not gonna do that. Not even on a dare or challenge. Good weight to this razor. Wilkinson Sword Blade is uh, cutting really good. An English shave, guys. First pass. Feels really comfortable. The DE89 head is, it's a good head, guys. Uh, nothing wrong with an Edwin Jagger head. It's uh, definitely a mild shaving, kind of mild standard shaving razor. You know, what I like to do is kind of dry it off a little and then dry my fingertips off when I'm using this one. Handle's long enough, essentially, for me, you know, I have pretty good sized hands, but it fits pretty good, you know, in, in my hands and uh, very comfortable to shave with. A lot more comfortable than that <laughs> that Wilkinson sword I used in my last shave. Uh, you know, sometimes you know they all can't be tens, guys. That's all I can say. <laughs> they all can't be tens. They all can't be good razors or good for you or your skin or something like that. So just remember that. See how it does under the nose here. Doing pretty good. Gets pretty good under the nose. Really comfortable, guys. Really comfortable shave so far. It's just the first pass. Only gonna do two passes today. Don't need 
any more than that. All right, first pass done. Wow, and it really knocked off a lot of that hair. Even under the neck here feels really good. So, you know, that's a, that's a good shaving razor, guys. Now, I heard a rumor that, that apparently the same chrome that they use to plate the Edwin Jagger razors is the same one that they use in the chrome they use in the Rolls Royce cars. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, this razor wasn't super expensive when I bought it. It could be a little bit more now, obviously. I think I paid maybe around $30 or $40 for it back in the day. That's a, that's a decent price, you know, but, uh, you know, for a razor that's going to last you for quite a while if you take care of it, you know, probably the rest of your life if you really take care of it, that's not a bad deal at all. All right, let me re... Great slickness on the soap here that I'm re-wetting my face. And I still have some residual slickness from that first pass. Really good slickness, guys. Uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street, even though they're more commercialized, they have some good stuff in their, in their uh, soap there. Right, let me go ahead and get this second pass here. Just going to re-lather. Brush is doing a great job too again. It's a little more on the small side. Um, but I mean, it's not uncomfortable. Fits in my hand pretty well. You know, I got to kind of hold it with my fingertips, obviously. But still fits uh, really good in the hand. Maybe a good travel razor. Even a daily razor. I mean, a razor. A good travel brush or... A, uh, even a good daily brush that you shave every day. You know, it's, it's a little smaller, but I mean, it does the job. It whipped up this lather, no problem. I mean, look at that. That's, that's just as good as the first time, first uh, pass. All right, yeah, I think I'm only gonna do two, so. Right, dry my hand real good, because again, one of the drawbacks to this is that it is kind of uh, slippery when you're dealing with it. Another trick you could do is uh, to take your uh, Allen block and just wet your fingers a little and wet and uh, kind of wet, wet them on the uh, wet them on the, the the block here, and your fingers are going to become really textured, like re real grippy, and uh, it's really good to grip this razor. So, kind of a little pro tip for y'all, if y'all you know want a little inside inside information there. Really smooth shave so far, guys. Can't complain. Yeah, guys, kind of my English shave here. Chip, chip, J O, and all that. Yeah, I'm not ter I'm terrible at impressions. <laughs> Some tea and crumpets. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if there's any guys from the UK that watch this, they're probably stupid American. <laughs> Dumb American. Uh, I'm just a country boy from, from Texas, guys, okay? 
I'm not worldly, but I'll tell you this. These are some great products that they're making across the pond there. And uh, cannot complain about that. Oh yeah, really good. All right, let's see how it does under the neck here. Really good. You go pretty light. Light touch, guys, especially against the grain. You don't want to irritate your skin. And if you can't do an against the grain pass, don't force it. All right, do, do not force it. And cause yourself a lot of irritation. That's pretty good. You know, there's some razors I can I can I can do it with, and then there's others that I can't that just they're too aggressive. I will say this is a good pairing though. This Wilkinson Sword razor blade. Nice, really nice. I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup pass and under there and oh that that alum uh, from that block is still really tacky in my hand. So good tip, guys. Good tip. All right, it's just kind of wet under here a little bit. And we're gonna relather. Just for a cleanup pass on the neck to get a little bit more closer of a shave. Because like the, the cheeks and the my mustache, you know, get this mustache area a little bit better too. Again, great slickness on the soap allows me to kind of go over these areas, um, you know, even without it being lathered. And stretch the skin a little, allows it to get a more tighter, flatter surface when you shave. Now, I do the double chin thing here Because if I go too close on this pass right here near my Am's apple, it is very, uh, I'll get a lot of ingrowns. So I want to avoid that. <laughs> Definitely want to avoid the ingrowns and irritation, but wow, wow. That is a good pass there. That is a very good pass there on the neck. Very close. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 
us. Pretty good, you guys. <laughs> really good pass. All right, two passes, I'm done. Don't need any more than that. Cold water rinse. Ooh, that water is cold. Let's see, I think I might have nicked myself just a little bit. Down here somewhere. Great slickness, guys, again. Great slickness on this soap. Matter of fact, it's taking me a little bit to really kind of rinse it off. Okay, there we go. All right, let's dry off. Oh yeah, really smooth it. My towel's just gliding over my face. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, nice, nice guys. Nice, close, very presentable, very comfortable shave I got here. Is that? I don't know, I don't think it was a weeper, maybe. Maybe one here. I don't know. All I know is that, wow, I mean, that is smooth. Really smooth. Cheeks feel really good. Even even kind of going this way, they're not too bad. You know, that's this way, kind of this way is against the grain. I don't always do that pass, but I don't really need to. It's really this area here. My neck is my coarsest area, but it's my most sensitive too. So that's why... I, having a good razor like this Edwin Jagger and a few others that are very comfortable shaving razors for me, I can do those passes and kind of get a little bit closer. You know, it's probably just a small little neck. All right, guys, some of this English leather, all right, you know, has that unique wooden uh, cap to it, but I, I actually like the smell of this stuff. I'm going to put my finger over this hole. It looks a little big to me. And uh, I want to control the amount that comes out of it. Just a uh, really nice, kind of masculine, uh, kind of like a, a musk kind of scent to it, cologne kind of musk scent. And it's, a, it's a little sweet too. Wow, it's, it, it smells really good. I, I like English leather. I like British sterling too. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. It smells really good. It has that kind of that leather smell as well. I can sm definitely smell that leather. Yeah, like... Uh, Like, have you ever smelled like a new wallet, like a leather wallet or a purse or something? It has kind of that scent to it as well, but I mean, wow. Just, it's very pleasant. It's not like over the top, you know, really strong leather. Um, but it's there. So it has kind of that leather musk and sweet kind of scent to it so yeah it smells really good really good shave very smooth very comfortable God, such good shave guys english shave i feel jolly for some reason <laughs> jolly old england <laughs> here you go guys recap taylor of old bond street sandalwood shave shaving cream this stuff has been around for a while um, great stuff, guys. It is uh, more of that kind of commercialized 
soap, but I mean, it works. It's it's a awesome perf performer, very uh, very kind of high standard uh, when it comes to uh, shaving creams and stuff like that. It's it's just up there on top, uh, as you know, as a great performing uh, great performing shaving cream. And they come in like a variety of different scents. So if you don't like sandalwood, like I've heard guys say like, like they've smelt this for the first time and they're like, oh man, it smells like some kind of perfume my grandmother used to wear or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I, I can kind of get that, but no. It's, it's definitely a pleasant sandalwood smell. And if that's not your cup of tea, then <laughs> no pun intended, but um, yeah, they have others, so. All right, the Edwin Jagger DE89. Um, you saw me do that little, that little trick with the, with the Allen block. Works perfect for this, for this razor. It makes your fingers real tacky, makes them real grippy, and uh, you can grip this razor really good. It still, still feels pretty grippy in my hand, so, you know, not, you know, not impossible to shave with this, you know, but be mindful that it could be slippery in your hand if you don't do that and you, you have a wet soapy fingers or something like that you don't want to slip and this thing goes sideways or something because it will cut you open um very mild shaving razor very beautiful chrome plated and i don't know if that's true about the rolls royce stuff whether it's the same chrome wrap but that's pretty cool if it is um you know i feel elegant and sophisticated <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in the elitist class now <laughs> with this razor. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm just a dumb country boy from Texas, guys. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, but great razor. Uh, you know, definitely on the milder side, but I paired it with that Wilkinson sword, and I, that was just an awesome combination. I can't, I can't say anything else about it. It performed top-notch. The uh, Volfix... Old original shaving, uh, what does it say? Shaving brush company, Volfix, that's made in England. This is the Pure Badger. Again, it's a smaller knot, but it's a little bit stiffer. And it really worked that lather really good. So I'm not, you know, I don't usually use Badger brushes, but this is a good one, guys. Um, I don't know if they even sell this anymore. I'll have to look it up. I don't even remember where I bought this thing, okay? But... All I know is that um, it did a great job today with the shave cream. Uh, definitely more on the smaller side, but it wasn't uncomfortable to use. The handle was pretty comfortable in my hand, and uh, the knot did very well, even though it's a smaller size knot. So worked out just fine. And now the one that's, I, I don't believe this is made in England, but I mean, if it is, then that's great. But uh, no, I know Dana makes these now, or they did. I'm not sure if they still do. I've seen them on the internet. As a matter of fact, I've seen this available at Walmart online because I checked. And so uh, it, they still have it. I don't know if it's, um, you know, maybe it's a limited supply or something like that. But um, I did hear rumor that, you know, online I saw some stuff that said that they weren't making anymore. But... Um, I saw it at walmart.com and it was around $12, $11, $12, somewhere in there. So that leads me to believe that they may actually still make it. And I got this some years ago from uh, a relative, I think, as a gift. And uh, it's it's great stuff, guys. It definitely has that English leather, or that English leather, but that leather kind of smell to it. And uh, it, But it's not just that. It's... It's not like an overwhelming, strong leather smell. It's very mild, pleasant, but it's kind of has a sweet musk kind of scent to it as well. But I, top notes are that leather. You really, those really come out after you put it on and you let it sit for a sec. You really smell that leather. It's, it's really awesome and pleasant. All right, guys, that was the shave. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> kind of my English shave, my tribute to England and some of the products that they come out with. You know, uh, great stuff. Taylor of Old Bond Street, classic performing soap. Uh, if you did like it,
hit that thumbs up, give me that like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be alerted to all new videos such as this semi-English shave, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.